Beginner drum beats, what do they know? Do they know things? Let's find out. Yes, and be sure to like and subscribe for more epic musical content. Now, a quick backstory. I am mostly a self-taught drummer. I've only taken about a handful of lessons to kind of fine tune certain things I had questions about. But the main way that I learned to play was to play along to records. Yes, and since being a teacher for a number of years, I have learned which beats that students kind of naturally pick up a lot quicker than others and that also teach them the foundation of timekeeping. Now, when playing along to records, make sure you are playing along to songs that have consistent tempos all the way through the track for the most part. Anything recorded to a metronome is going to be your best bet, but as long as you're listening to the track and following along, you will do just fine. So the way that I'm going to be addressing you in this video is both through the perspective of the teacher and the student, both for teachers who are trying to find good drum beats to teach their students, but also students who are new to drumming, who are trying to teach themselves how to play. So the first beat that I always teach students is we will rock you. there's a couple of ways we can play this and start out playing it. We can start with kick, kick, snare. We can go floor tom, floor tom, snare. we can play it the way Roger Taylor does it live, which is a combination of those two versions. Now we can also open up the discussion of rudiments by telling your student that we are also playing flams, which is the two-handed kind of a sound that we get out of the drums. I also like to count this in half time and notate it that way. That way we can see those steady quarter notes on the page and start introducing that quarter note rest on beat four. Now for the second beat, Believer by Imagine Dragons. It can be a little bit tricky because of the triplets, but it's just another one of those songs that everybody has heard. So it's actually really easy for students to pick this up. And the way I like to do it is just with the hands on the floor tom and the snare. And again, we can introduce the idea that you're playing rudiments with a four stroke roll on that fourth beat of the measure if we're counting this in half time. The tricky part is memorizing the loop, just remembering that we're leaving a quarter note rest on bar four of the pattern. Now, at this point, there's a number of different directions we can go. I'm actually gonna choose a song by Arctic Monkeys called Do I Wanna Know? And we got a really simple groove, four on the floor on the kick. We're gonna be playing a backbeat. That's beats two and four on the snare, and we can also keep quarter notes on the floor tom. Now, during the choruses of that, it gets a little bit busier with the kick drum, but you can still get away with just playing that same groove. You've moved your right hand to the crash cymbal.
All right, so now that we are able to keep time with our right hand while keeping a backbeat and playing notes on the kick drum, let's turn those quarter notes in the right hand into eighth notes. Now, most people would probably think Billie Jean. Most people would usually teach this groove first, but I've actually had students struggle with this groove when it's the first thing that I teach them. And aside from rudiments, make sure you're, you're practicing basic sticking exercises so you can start to develop technique, especially once you start to push the tempos. But this next groove is actually going to be a song called All Night Long by Mary Jane Girls, produced by Rick James. It's got a really, really cool bass line, so it's super fun to play along to. Tempo of about 95, but yes, we're kind of playing the same groove that we were before, but we're not doing four on the floor on the kick. We're just doing one and three on the kick. Again, eighth notes on the hi-hat, and we're keeping that back beat on two and four. So that right there is our foundational drum beat. If you can play that, everything you're gonna do is gonna mostly build off of that one groove. So this next one, it's called the money beat. And the song I like to use to teach it is called Yellow by Coldplay. So what we're doing there is we're doing a three and on the kick drum. We're going one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. So now we're playing two kick drums in a row and we're still following our right hand now that our right hand is playing eighth notes. And the verses, we're doing one and as well as three and on the kick and every other measure we're gonna open the hi-hat on the and of four and you want that hi-hat sound to sound like pea soup. And so now we're learning or teaching how to open the hi-hat while playing a groove. So that's another reason why I really like this song. And here's where it gets tricky. In the chorus, we're playing syncopated notes on the kick drum. We're not playing on any of the standard beats. We're playing on the eighth notes, on the off beats. One, two, and, and four. One, two, and, and four. And that can be kind of hard to teach or grasp at first. So what you can do is take the cymbal part out and just focus on the kick and the snare at first. Now for our last song, we're going to do the flip side of the money beat which is where you're going one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. So we're playing on the and of two. One, two, and three, and three, and three, right? So it's again a two note kick drum pattern and the song I like to use is Saltwater by Geo Wolf. It might not be a song you've heard before, but it keeps the same groove all the way throughout. It's at a nice steady pulse and it will help you practice. And there you have it, just a handful of beginner drum beats 
that you can start playing along to or that you can have your students start playing along to start learning the fundamentals of drumming hopefully you're incorporating some rudimentary exercises in there as well please leave a comment of any songs that you think make good beginner drum beats to practice along to again i say playing along to the records it not only teaches you about musical structure but you're also playing along with other musicians and it's a little bit more fun than playing to a metronome and just as helpful as long as those tracks have a steady pulse and if you would like to see a part two to this video where i talk about drum beats that have grooves with 16th notes on the snare drum incorporated into the feel as well as tracks that have simple drum fills then please leave a comment if you would like a pdf version of all these grooves that i played for you as well as other drum beats that i have transcribed on the channel then please subscribe to my patreon at patreon.com forward slash cob the drummer and I also left a Spotify playlist of all these beats and more in the description of this video. So yes, be sure to hit that like button. And in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.